Hello, this is Olga Yavtic. I'm Miss Virginia Senior America 2003, and this is Fashion Note. Thank you very much for tuning in. You are here for a big treat. As you can see, me have a beautiful, colorful thing. They are handmade but by my guest. Her name is Sandra Sardelli. And I met Sandra at one of the craft show. Matter of fact, it was in McLean. And I was so impressed with her work that I invited her to come and share all this beautiful, beautiful thing with her. As you can see, I'm holding some uh, beautiful, colorful purple and bluish color. I think it's called um, neck warmer. Very, very colorful, so you don't really have to you know, wear anything else special to look absolutely fabulous because you can just wear, you know, any sweater or plain dress and just put it on and you know, look, you know, just so glamorous. But anyway, thank you very much for Sandy coming in and showing us all this fabulous, fabulous design of yours. We are going to talk about it. And because, you know, she has many interesting things and she told me she was always interested in designing growing up. And also she made her own clothes, clothes you know, with, with the four sisters, I'm sure, you know, lots of clothes you have to make. And she was one that was more advanced, I think, in the family than the rest, because she pursued, pursued um, you know, doing things and her sister kind of left. Why? Because, you know, probably because she was doing for them. So why bother? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming again. And it is such a pleasure to, you know, have you. And I. I can tell you that I feel like I'm in the candy store with all this colorful and lovely, cuddly, soft thing that you can wear it and we absolutely look fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are fun to wear, uh, very colorful. People do enjoy them, get compliments quite a bit on what they're wearing. So um, I enjoy the actual uh, designing and not so much the knitting, but the designing. So I spent a lot of time looking at fibers. Let me fibers. ask you, do you sketch first or do you buy the yarn and then, and then you, whatever you have, you put them together to you know, do what you want to do? Well, usually I buy the yarn first. If I see it, um, and you, and you have to I like create. the you have yes. to like the yarn. Mm -hmm. And how do you store all this? You know, too much yarn. <laughs> do you have a boxes so oh, you yes. can see where they are? Or? Yes, I have so much yarn. Um, it's a joke with my husband because it's he says to me, when are we going to get rid of some of this yarn? But I can't. It's like I'm a fiber junkie. I have to have the yarn. It makes me feel comfortable because I go out and decide, pick from different um, bins of what. I want to make, uh -huh. and so um, so it's fun. But I, it's storage is a problem. I do have quite a bit of yarn in the house, um, but you know it's. Where do you find them online usually, or you know in the store? Because not all you know, these stores are vanishing. There are not very many yarn stores anymore. No, they're not. And the local um, shops or the craft shops do not carry high-end yarns. So um, with the yarn shops that are left, you know, I do search them out. But I do uh, have designed for many of the yarn companies so I can order uh, the yarn wholesale. And um, I get a variety of choices and that makes it easier for me. But I very rarely buy in the stores, in the regular craft stores. I only buy in the high-end yarn shops mm -hmm. when I can find the yarn. But um, when I decide to, to pick out a few different things, then I'll sit down and design what I want. And usually it's the creative part that I, I do enjoy, mm -hmm. not so much the knitting. But, um, but I can't but wait you know, to get you all You're not just designing one thing. There are a variety of things. This is because all artists probably would like to advance to do something else. For example, you can see this is a hat. This is a warmer you know, neck warmer. And this is a hat that goes with that. I think it's a fabulous combination that, you know, that, you know, something like that, probably I would like to, you know, wear it because I like hats. But anyway, now not just that, from all these um, neck warmers, as you can see, she will probably tell us more about it. She moves to Gloves, but they're not calling gloves really. How do you call it? They're um, they're really uh, mit mittens, but they're fingerless mittens. And then so you just put okay, them, uh, and, and then do you like can, that. Yeah, and then you have the 
And then, oh, oh that's, wow. That's the and then you, you know, put this around your neck. And isn't and it I've fabulous? Made the hats, hats it's as well, absolutely though. fabulous. Mm -hmm. And you wear underneath, you know, just a plain something, and you look extra, extra glamorous, mm -hmm. as you say. You know, this, those are, you know, very, you know, um, popular these days because, you know, people want to that. text oh. and you mm -hmm. have to have a free hand. Right. So this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And also, if you're too cold, you can pull the mirror up. And you know, have your, you, you know, warm. to be caught, yeah. you, know, you know. So, this is actually for all ages, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For all ages, yes. This Absolutely. is great. Mm -hmm. What is, you know, what is the first thing that you may make, you know, what you made that, if you remember, what is the first thing that you. I started knitting sweaters. I, I was only knitting sweaters for a long time and designing. Uh, sweaters. Sweaters. I did quite a few sweaters. Um, there's a couple in front there, but um, I would either do it with fabrics. I would tear fabrics and tie mm -hmm. them together, like there's a, a vest there that I've done. And then um, many sweaters, many different kinds of sweaters. But um, Also, as you can see now, on our, you know, those are the sweaters and the vest that she made, very colorful, they're handmade. I'm just stressing that, you know, people that do something by hand, it's absolutely fabulous because these days everything is done by machine, as you all know. And I appreciate their work and time to they put together and also to make something extremely unique. Now, you cannot find this in your neighborhood store, that's for sure. But from there, you know, that, you know, she made, a, we have to look every single bag that you made, they're absolutely mm -hmm. fantastic. They take a lot of time. And they time. are absolutely different, and they're, you know, she has to tell us how she did, because everything is knitted, and then she put embellishment, you know, when it's done. But of course it has, you know, if it's just knitting, it will not hold. You have to have some frame mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. put on it, and also the handle. And, you know, all these things take so much time and so much um, effort, and, you know, to fit. How long does it take you, let's say, to finish the bag? Or do you start and then, you know, maybe come back later and finish it, and then you do something mm -hmm. else? Or you, yes. or, or you do, you know, from start to finish, and then you move on? No, it takes steps. I cannot do it all at once. It's tedious. It's actually taking... Or then you, maybe you lose interest, and then you said, well, I don't have an idea how to, to no, finish. usually I'll finish, but... I have an idea, I put it on paper, but it takes... Oh, you put in the paper. Mm -hmm. But I take steps because it's so tedious to have to construct it, I have to construct the frame. It has to be sewn together. Then um, all of this piece has to be knitted, and then it has to be sewn. And then this has to be attached to the frame, which takes a long time because it all has to be sewn in. Uh -huh. And then um, once that happens, then I put the lining in, which is all hand, hand And what um, kind of lining do you usually I usually use a silk lining in here. It's a silk. I buy all the um, different silks. And it can go actually with all the colors. You I know? try to, to, to blend it with what wants on the outside uh -huh. of the bag. So you have a different yeah. lining for different yeah. bags. This one has a pink lining. As you can see here, has a pink lining. Uh -huh. This is, a, for example, she mixed the red family with pinks and purples, and I, as you can see, flowers that she did you know, from felt. Are they felted? Felted? Some felted and knitted. And felted. Wow. And then That's ours to take to amazing. Put them on. Mm -hmm. And this is a back also, and a, a coordinating um, handle, mm -hmm. and inside. I have to look inside. I don't know if I would like to look inside because, you know, inside is very important. She aligned with the very hot pink lining. And um, does it have a pocket? No, I did not put pockets in them. Okay, but it's, you know, doesn't have, because it's not too big, you can find things in it. I no. have a larger bag, so I cannot find anything, you know, in it when I'm just, you know, because they're all over the place. But this is a, such a, you know, in a good size. So you can put things in, and when you open up, you can actually see what's in it, which is good. And also, you have an interesting closing here. Do you use old buttons or various or buttons? These are pewter. They I are all here. different buttons, mm -hmm. and you just use this loop, uh, the snap. Loop to close it. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> this is. Really, do, do you think? Do, uh, do you think consider this as a winter collection, a fall and winter? 
Or, you know, you have something, you know, for spring and summer in lighter. I don't, lighter. I just mostly winter. Um, but, you know, today people carry various things. I mean, if it's a uh, creative type item that they're buying, they mm -hmm. may just carry it all year round. It depends on the individual. Under but I don't have, no, I'm not making the different seasons. Because uh -huh. most of the time all of my things are more geared to uh, fall and winter. I yeah. see. Is this knitted, not crochet? This, this is, is knitted. All, this is all knitted, yes. Do you do you do it on a round round needle? You know, like this is probably this, on the round needle. That, that's on a round needle. No, this is done on straight needles because on the this, two needles. Yeah, because this is sewn together. Uh huh. So you have to stitch the sides. I do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. How do you stitch them? You know, by sewing or by crocheting? S sewing. Sorry. Sorry. It's, I yeah, see. There's a special stitch that you can stitch up the sides so uh -huh. that you know you really can't see it. But um, so it takes so many steps. And do you do embellishment when you finish the bag? Do you do you do you make all these flowers? You know after you yeah, know it, when it's finished. Yeah. When it's finished, when so you think you know what will be the best, you know. Yes. So this is a, like a pink and reddish family. We have a blue family uh, of colors which are blue and purplish and green and um, uh, lilac and, you know, all this, you know, pretty color. Pretty, pretty good. And, you know, tell me about the handle, because the handle are made of leather, so very durable. And, they are made uh, by a, a certain company in California, and she hand dyes her. Does, excuse me, does this uh, yarn come like that? Yes. I see. It comes So out. you don't have to change? I don't. It comes I in see. one big ball, and they and it comes. And oh. I actually just keep knitting until this is what the oh, color. Oh, this shows. is interesting. I didn't know they make that, yeah. but this is really very interesting. It's the same on this and one. you have a different um, buttons for the. How do you pick the buttons? You know, just regular, or you you're looking just look for, for the them. vintage? I, I just look for something that's different, and I thought that the the fact that it has the pewter here on the handle. I think this is absolutely fabulous, you know, fabulous. And you can also coordinate with some of the neck warmers mm -hmm. for extra, extra mm -hmm. glamour look. Yeah. There is another one there in um, also with the blue, but yellow oh, and pink yeah. and purple. And uh, well, this is interesting, you know, you buy one and then you, you, you get, you know, so switch colors from, mm -hmm. you know, this you know, it goes by itself, which mm -hmm. is good. You don't have to change anything to cut and, you know, to start again. Right, right. You can finish it all at once. This is really... That's the creative part about some of the yarns. They're just so unique. You have to think about what you're going to do. And how long does it take you about to finish one bag? As, oh gosh. I want to say it takes about 20 hours or so because I don't do... 20 it. hours? Yeah. Because it just takes so much time to sew, to... I mean, just putting on the, just so they, you know, are sturdy enough that they won't fall off. And it's hard with the uh, leather to sew it in, but um, but it, it does take time because I've actually sewn in. And you and you sew this on the on the handle, right? That, leather, it, and you have to part. do it by hand mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. yeah. I see. So it takes time, but um, yeah, the little works of art I call them. And uh, I, you know, I do enjoy doing them. So I, I like this more. red. And can you show me this uh, red and black? You know, it's made from uh, real. This is my own only fur piece, but it's um, rabbit, and the yarns are quite expensive. So I really don't do a lot with the real fur. I would like to. I'd like to do something with mink, but difficult to order. Uh, there was a company. And it's very expensive. It's very expensive. A ball of this could be $85. So your average knitter is not going to spend the money on an $85 ball or 100 But it doesn't, doesn't, you know, how many balls do you need to, to finish this, for example? Well, this one took half, half a ball, because I actually knitted in between with a, uh, oh. a different fiber so that it wouldn't use up all the yarn. So I have half a ball to do that. Uh -huh. And so, you know, it's... Um, it's very, it very, uh, I wish you can touch it. It's just soft. so yeah. soft and, you know, it's just so soft and I'm sure feels, you know, so good around, around your neck. 
So this is something what you are doing for a, you know, quite a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, what will be your next project? I'm sure all the artists, designers dream of something else, doing something else. Yes, that's true. Uh, I'm but I think, but in other words, I think those is accessory which is like a one size fits all. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody can wear it. It doesn't right. matter which is good. If you if you do the sweaters or you know. It's not, of course, it's not one size fits all. No. And so this is much easier. And also with accessory, you don't need, you know, you need maybe just one piece of the accessories and then, you know, you don't need any, you know, very much to put on your, for example, plain black dress and you mm -hmm. look fabulous. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And you know, I, I like the buttons that you are using. They're different, you know, and little ac nice accent on the mm -hmm. pieces that you are, you know, working on. They're difficult on. to find, too. Buttons are very difficult to find that are unique and different. Years ago, we used to be able to find them. Yeah, you have to difficult. look through, you know, mm -hmm. like antique uh, uh, mm -hmm. shops and antique, you know, mm -hmm. shows that people still have some old buttons that mm -hmm. they, you can, because they don't make it anymore. They do make it, you know, plastic ones that right. are not, you know, they're not so good. But this one, for example, I, as me show you earlier, those are little gloves without, the, you know, the fingers, and you have a neck warmer. I think is this how it's called? Neck neck warmer. Neck warmer or around, cowls. You know. They're called cowls as well. Yes, yes. Oh, it is so nice and so. And every every piece that she did is is extremely, you know, interesting because you know all all these different cowls. This is really nice. This is purplish and blue. See how beautiful these colors blend with each other. And, uh, and this is absolutely unique. Well, yeah. back here, Olga, I do have a, um, a long scarf that has a lot of those different colors, but there uh -huh. is a different look than um, Yeah, me have the on cows. the back. I don't think you can see all these, you know, regular long it's scarves. It's like what I have you on. Know. Like she is wearing one in red, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And so this has, this takes in quite a few fibers as well, and these take a long time. And to this make. is not, is this a yarn too? They're all different yarns. All the yarns that are here are all in this scarf. I see. So it's a matter of, you know, which textures do you want to use and combining them all together to, to make it so it's uh -huh. a showstopper. But I've done quite a few of these. I call these my signature scarves mm -hmm. because it takes so much time because I have to pick out all the different balls of yarn that will blend in one scarf. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I've been doing these for about 10 years, and every year they come back to the buy most more. Popular. The most popular. Most popular. Yeah. Because it of the is colors. a very you know, nice accent, what, whatever you're It looks you are beautiful wearing. on a coat. And that's, you know, I make them long because they drop down uh -huh. and um, they just look very Who nice. is your client? You know, are they younger people or, you know, what, how can you? Not the younger people, no. Um, these are more, a little more high end, but um, I would say. More the the person that would appreciate the arts of different somebody who really yes. I see appreciate because mm -hmm. not everybody I'm sure appreciate you know beautiful work and you have to uh, take in consideration the hours mm -hmm. that you put for example how many hours do you think is for something like that will. Um, I would say probably, no, it would probably take me about 10 hours, 8, ten eight, hours? eight to 10. Yeah, Can okay. you imagine 10 hours? It's, and, it's a little tedious because it, it's done on small needles. So, um, it, you know, I can do three hours a night, so uh -huh. I, I would say maybe 10 hours. Can you total. watch television and do it? Yes. You could? I actually can get in the movie theater as well. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is fabulous. So yeah. You really don't lose your time. Here. I don't lose my time, but it, it's hard on the neck. Um, but it's, um, it's something I enjoy doing, and it is relaxing. Uh -huh. So I don't mind. My husband knows. I take the knitting with me everywhere I go. And that's how I can, I'm able to make as many pieces. Uh -huh. if you, for example, if you make a mistake, you know, do you undo it or it you know, just let it, you know, said, well, nobody's going to notice. If it blends, I can actually sew a piece of yarn into it if I drop a stitch uh -huh. and catch it rather than rip the entire piece out. Because if it's something interesting in the theater and you're doing, uh, you know, like that, and you know, oh my goodness, you know, something is happening on the screen and you might 
you know, by accident, make a little boo -boo. Feel, <laughs> I can feel the stitches if they're just a knit stitch or a purl stitch. Uh -huh. So if it's a basic stitch, I can do that. But to do something intricate, no, I can't do that at a theater. But um, they're, um, you know, they are time consuming, and I, I figure most of my time is spent at night doing them. But this is un unbelievable, you know, the yarn, and now what they're having, uh, this is really so interesting. And as you say, you start with one color, and then the same ball, you, you change the colors, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. so you have, you don't have to, you know, to stop and, you know, do with another yarn. It mm -hmm. just goes, you know, with the, with the flow, right. which is in the, and, and is this the yarn too? Yes, this is a fur yarn, but fur it's, yarn. it's a fake, it's a fake fur yarn, but it's hand dyed to match this particular company matches uh -huh. her yarns. I see. So, and I did, as I said before, design for her, and I did quite a few pieces. So she's excellent in her uh, design uh -huh. as well. But it's the colors. Her colors are beautiful. I have not found the uh, different textures and the colors that this. For example, if somebody would like to, you know, custom work, do you do any custom? For example, if somebody said, well, I think I would like in, I don't know, blue color, but to have a, maybe edges in, I don't know, whatever other color. Do you do it or you just, you know, do yourself and then, you know, tough luck if you don't like it. You know, this is how I'm doing. Very rarely, if um, someone I know and has bought from me before, if I happen to have a color combination at home, yes, I will do it. Um, but most of the time, I do not like doing custom orders. I yeah, you do because you have a sense of, you know, coordinating colors and also, you know, the, you are a designer. And I can understand that you are, you know, doing what you think you should be done. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, not to do something, you know, that people want it. You know, and it, I understand what you, you have, what you know. But, but anyway, this is really, I'm so excited that you can see uh, that our, you know, um, people from our area, what they're doing, and uh, they're designing wonderful things. And I think I am so grateful for San Sandy to come here to show us her beautiful design, and also to thank you very much for watching, tuning in. And I uh, hope, you know, you tune in some next time for another excellent um, designer. And this is Olga Yeftis reporting for Fashion Notes. And uh, it was good to, to have her and um, to share her expertise in knitting and crocheting. Thank you very, very much. Welcome. And you can also, you know, I have to mention that you also can see some of our program on YouTube. If you type Olga Yavtis Fashion Notes, you will see some of our program there. So you'll see what we are doing. We have the best people in the, you know, art and uh, art business and designers and craftspeople and, you know, all this uh, interesting uh, fashion uh, coordination, you know, it, uh, connected with the fashion. And this is what, you know, I absolutely love to present our, you know, artists from our area. So as they always say, you don't have to go anywhere. You can find them all here. They're in Washington area, and you just have to patronize the, uh, the shows and look around, go to Torpedo Factory and other craft shows to find them, and you can find absolutely everything. I'm so grateful that we are sharing all these lovely thing with Sandy, and as you can see, I'm enjoying every single piece, you know, what she has in front of us and some of the bag and her beautiful bags. And, you know, and I don't know what else she is thinking to do it. I'm sure all these artists have something, you know, in their mind what to do. And uh, again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another exciting designer craftsman from our area. And uh, as you can see, Sandy, really, I'm really, as, as I said earlier, this is something like uh, being in the candy store with all these <laughs>